Welcome back to another charger review. I have the Xtar MC4 lithium ion battery charger in for testing today, and this was sent in via Xtar for a review. So we're just going to have a look over what you get included. We'll start off with the box. Now on this, the idea with the charger, as it's saying here, is it's portable, and we'll get a bit more onto that later on. It's very compact. On the side, we can see the batteries that it supports. Note with the 21700 and 2700 cells, that's the unprotected ones. The protected ones won't fit. So it's pretty broad coverage for the normal lithium cells. And on the back of the box, just gives you the charging speeds here as well. So four cells, you can charge a half amp or two at an amp. Let's get on to the charger and what I'm going to do is list on the screen there the slot length for you. So 72 millimeters fits most cells perfectly fine. Metal sliders nice and smooth on this and you'll see the markings at the top of the case. The two outer bays you'll need to put cells in that to charge at an amp and the inner ones charge at half an amp. Good spring retention on this even though this is quite an affordable unit and we have the micro USB input there marked for 2.1 amps on the back just some more of the spec again the supported batteries it takes the two six six fifties as well which we'll get onto in a while and a side view very small charger and a comparison with the nightcore d4 i put the spec on the screen there for you for the size it's a significantly smaller obviously the d4 has the lcd panel but you have actually a quicker charging rate on this and you get a supplied wall adapter 2.1 amps it's the uk one it's got all of the safety certifications on it. You can, of course, use another USB source. And the cable length is around about a meter on that with the micro USB tip. So easy to replace if you lose it or damage the cable. Just to run through the included instruction manual, this is very simple and easy to use charger. There's really nothing to go wrong with it at all. You do have an activation function. There's an anti-fake, which was shown there on the packaging. They're putting the anti-fake uh, scratch off panel on the packet now for the X-Star products that I've looked at recently. I'm just going to insert some of the larger 26650s. You can fit two of these in on the outer base, so the one amp charging there, and you can also fit two 18650s or smaller cells in the middle. So that's pretty handy, particularly if you're going to be charging um, the larger capacity cells. And of course you can fit the smaller ones. I've got some 14500 here and a rechargeable CR123A. Now when you power it up, you'll see the green lights come on. This is just a very slight draw for the LEDs, the indicators at the top. When you insert a battery, you'll see it goes up to uh, 500 milliamps and the red light comes on indicating it's charging. We'll put another one in. So you want to use the uh, smaller cells, smaller capacity cells in the middle because they'll get a slower charge rate. You want to charge them half an amp's perfect for those cells and they're bigger ones on the outside gives it the uh, faster one amp charging and here we can see a total of two amps so they'll all be charging at half an amp if you've got all four of them or three loaded up so it's really down to you to decide how you want to load it up with the batteries but um, that's actually not a bad charging right it's a bit quicker than the d4 and it's exactly the same charging speed as the um, vc4 which i also did a video on now if you insert a nickel metal hydride cell you'll see that there's just a very slight current going through so you can't do any damage to it or the battery if you put a rechargeable battery in there, a normal one, non-lithium. That also shows the activation. It will be using that uh, low current to activate a cell. Um, I've had lithium cells that have been low on voltage, so that activation feature is quite useful. If you insert it the wrong way around, nothing at all happens. There's no current going through. So a very safe charger to use. You really can't make any mistakes with this one at all. Just going to insert the batteries in and we're going to do some termination tests. You can see uh, clearly when it's charging as the LEDs are red and then turn to green when they've finished. There is a downside to that is you're not going to know how far into the charge that it's gone. That's possibly the only real drawback with the charger. So we're going to the termination tests and I'm right by the charger when this happens. So I'm pulling them straight off. So 4.2 volts, 4.19. That's spot on. Next up, a smaller cell, 4.18. Uh, 4.19, 4.2 on that one, and with the Xstar 18650, 4.18. There'll always be a little bit of variation with these cells, but the charging is accurate on this charger, as you'd expect. That's exactly what we want. 
we don't want to have a high charge on this over the 4.2 either because that can degrade the battery life now if you reinsert the cells which i'm doing here which i've just charged it won't attempt to recharge the cells which is a good feature to have obviously there'd be no point trying to recharge them again but some chargers will take a while to detect that unless you actually pull the power out and re do it again like that this will um that will avoid that problem so overall it's a very simple charger very easy to use there aren't really any major drawbacks you can't charge uh, nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium cells that's potentially one downside may be useful to have that and um, there's no charge level on with the single led that's probably the only other drawback it's very compact size good charging speeds you can also pick slower charging speed half an amp for the smaller cells or if you want to do a slower charge and you can activate low voltage batteries as well the main selling point with this is going to be the small size and the potential for using it as a travel charger so that's probably the strongest area on the charger i would think and it's also quite cheap you get the supplied uh, wall adapter with it as well so if you just want something simple and easy and small which is portable for a lithium ion charger the mc4 looks like a good bet to me thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe where i'll be looking at more torches batteries and chargers as well as other tech products in future videos